What's up everyone, I'm Vincent and today I want to show you how to use the divergence test. So we're going to use this test to go through these four questions here. Now just in case you don't have this in your notes, here is the divergence test. And the way it works is we take the limit as k goes to infinity of the term a sub k. And if it's a non-zero limit, that means that the series of a sub k diverges. And if you think about it, the concept is that if you add up a bunch of non-zero terms infinitely often, that's just going to go off to infinity. So that's why this test works. Okay, so we're getting started with this question here. So to apply the divergence test, the first thing we want to do is take the limit as k goes to infinity of this term here of the series, a sub k. So if I called a sub k, k over 2k plus 1, then we're taking the limit of a sub k. So we have k over 2k plus 1. And when we take the limit as k goes to infinity of this term here, this is a rational function, and the leading terms have matching coefficients in the numerator and the denominator. So the limit as k goes to infinity is simply the ratio of their coefficients. So the limit here is equal to a half, which is non-zero. So by the divergence test, this tells us that the series here diverges because the limit of this term of the sequence here is non-zero. Okay, for the next question, it's going to be the same idea. And just know that these questions are only as difficult as it is to find the limit of this term here, a sub k. So in this case, we have a sub k is equal to k over natural log of k. So when we take this limit as k goes to infinity of k over natural log k, this will tell us if the series diverges. And if we were to just try to substitute in a really big number, notice the numerator is heading towards infinity. and as k goes to infinity, natural log of k also goes to infinity. So this limit is in indeterminate form. So that means we would have to use a technique like L'Hopital's rule here. So to apply L'Hopital's rule here, we're just going to take the derivative of the numerator. So we have the derivative of k is 1, and then we're going to divide by the derivative of the denominator, natural log k, and the derivative is 1 over k. And now we evaluate this new limit. So let's rearrange this first. This is the limit as k goes to infinity. And 1 divided by 1 over k simplifies to k. So then this limit here, the limit as k goes to infinity of k, also heads towards infinity. So what this tells us, since this is heading towards infinity, the limit diverges. So therefore, the limit is non-zero. And if the limit is non-zero of the term a sub k here, that means the series diverges. Okay, for the third question here, our term a sub k is equal to k over k squared plus 1. So in this situation here, if we take the limit as k goes to infinity, of k over k squared plus 1. This is a rational function, and the degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator. So as k goes to infinity, since the denominator has a higher leading term of degree 2 versus degree 1, that tells us that this limit is going to 0. But what this tells us, if the limit is equal to 0, then the divergence test is inconclusive. That means that this series could either converge or diverge, but we cannot determine this by the divergence test. Okay, and this last question here is probably the most tricky because the limit is the trickiest of the bunch. And for this one here, a sub k is equal to k to the 1 over k power. So to apply the divergence test, we're going to take the limit as k goes to infinity of k to the 1 over k. So the technique that we're going to use here is we're going to exponentiate this. We're going to make this an exponent of e. 
and throw it inside the natural log function. So we've got the limit as k goes to infinity, and we have e to the natural log of k to the 1 over k. And the reason this technique works here is because e and natural log are inverse functions. So I could always just cancel this out, and it would bring me right back to this step here. But the concept that we want to use is that for this function, e is a continuous function, natural log of k is a continuous function, and 1 over k is continuous as k goes to infinity. So what this allows us to do is we could take e to the power and then throw the limit in here. So we have e to the limit as k goes to infinity, and we have natural log of k to the 1 over k. So once again, because we're dealing with all continuous functions as k goes to infinity, the composition here, we could rearrange this limit and throw it in the exponent of e. But now we're going to use the properties of logs. That If I took this expression on the side here, let's say I just look at this expression, natural log of k to the 1 over k. This is equal to 1 over k times natural log of k, which I could then say is natural log of k over k. So I'm going to use this last representation here for the next line, that this is equal to e to the limit as k goes to infinity. And now we have natural log of k over k. But this is kind of like the question from before. As k goes to infinity, we have an infinity over infinity, which is indeterminate. So we're going to use L'Hopital's rule here. And now we have e and then the limit as k goes to infinity in our exponent. And we've got 1 over k, which is the derivative of natural log k, divided by the derivative of k is 1. But now, when we simplify this a bit, now just through analysis, as k goes to infinity, 1 over k goes to 0. So this limit is equal to e to the 0 power, which is equal to 1. And what we have to pay attention to here is that the limit of a sub k is equal to 1, which is non-zero. So by the divergence test, the series diverges because the limit of a sub k is a non-zero term. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on how to use the divergence test. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, topics that you want me to cover, leave the topics in the comments section. And thank you for watching.